What's up, guys? It's Texas from Texas Workshop. Um, I'm to this point on the pickup winder now, um, it's basically 98% done. The only thing I've really got to do to it is mount some um, guides on the sides of them to guide the wire when you're putting it on the pickup. Um, I just want to start with inside the box and show you what all I've got in here. Um, if you didn't see any of the other videos that I've got, if this is the first video you've seen of me building this pickup winder, I've got a whole series on this. I'll link the um, the the playlist right here or right here to where you can see it and um and watch watch everything about it and i've got it about it. everything you see in here has been there's a video on it so basically all i've done is i've mounted all this stuff in here i've got the wire coming in um going through a fuse coming in here to the arduino boards coming out of the arduino boards um and going to our speed controller uh, the wire comes out of the speed controller goes to our switch here in the back and then comes out of the switch, goes to the motor. And then uh, the only other things I really did that I mounted in here, I just mounted the two uh, TM1637 displays on the front here, cut a hole out, and just super glued them into the hose right here. This potentiometer, I drilled a hole in there, and I just basically used the threads on the potentiometer to hold the potentiometer into the, the board here. And then I just mounted this whole thing on kind of like a little tray here and you'll see why I had to do that here in just a minute when I put the same back together. Uh, the counter right here it's just mounted on to this uh, aluminum bar that I had in my shop. I don't know what it came from but I had it and I figured I'd use that as the cross member there and then I basically super glued the counter to some painters tape right here just to keep the, any the solder joints from shorting out right here to this for the disc to slide through. Um, the shaft, as you can see here, I think you can see it. I've got I've mounted two shaft collars on each side here to keep the um, shaft from moving back and forth. So that's that's all good, good, good to go. Now I'm gonna put this thing back together. And I'm gonna go over the differences between this one and the old pickup winder right quick. Put this thing back together. I do is just kind of slide this back into here like so I need a little better way to uh, streamline this but this is where we're at now now let me uh, reset this thing real quick okay here's the old pickup winder um, if you haven't seen the video on this I got a uh, two videos I got one where uh, just kind of go over all the parts in it, and then I got one where how to wire all of it um, I'll link those here too if if you want to see those. Now, the biggest difference in these two, there's two main differences. Um, number one, I'm just let you hear the difference. This is the old pickup winder. You put a top on it. It's a little bit quieter. And here's the new pickup winder. If you put a top on that one, it's, it's a lot quieter, a lot, a lot quieter. Now you hear that popping? That popping is the, the rubber band that I'm using are the <clears throat> bands that I'm using to um, run the pulleys. And that was one thing I wanted to go over with you too. When you're building one of these, if you want to maybe use like a flat pulley, you're not going to get that popping sound. That popping is... I, it's, um, nearly impossible to get that dang uh, band on there without it be having a twist in it. And when it has a twist in it, when it goes to the pulley, it twists more and when it comes out, it pops. And so that's what's making that little clicking sound that you're hearing. But it's not that big of a deal to me. But if it is to you, you might want to look at maybe using a flat pulley or something like that on there instead. Um, the other differences in these two is the counters. You know, this counter only can count up to a certain amount. This one can count as basically as fast as you want to. If you didn't see the video where I put this counter on a, a 5,000 RPM motor and it kept up, um, I'll put a link to it too on here where you can check it out. Um, so the counter on this one, right? Um, if you're wanting the quietness of this pickup winder, if you're wanting the quietness of this, but you don't want to do all the Arduino stuff. You just want it to be simplified to something like this. 
it'd be easy to use this pick up this counter with this one the only thing you got to do different is, is you've got to size this pulley slower so this pickup this counter can keep up now I did a little test a while ago where I put this pickup this sensor here on this pickup winder as you can see here I just kinda got this one close to this one to where when it went by it would give me a count and I ran this up to a thousand RPMs for about 10 seconds and I would check these counters to see if they were the same and they would they were good ran up to 1200 they were good ran it up to 1400 they were good once I got to 1500 RPMs this counter was missing counts and it would just basically just sit there and, and wouldn't do nothing it would just kinda like flutter and it would get a count every now and again so the max I would say on this counter is I wouldn't go over 1,350 RPMs on this counter. I would actually probably stay around 1,300 just to be safe, somewhere around in there. Because like I said, once it got to 1,500, it started missing counts. So you could literally take this counter, mount it in this pickup winder, um, make this buy, this pulley bigger to and size it for 1,200 to 1,300 RPMs, and you could use this counter with this pickup winder, no problems whatsoever. And if you didn't see the video of me sizing these pulleys and stuff, I'll put a link right here where you can check that out too, and uh, shouldn't be no no problems with that. Um, the only other thing that I had with this one that um, was kind of unexpected was this this back switch here. If um, if this thing is running full throttle, I'll cut it on. You know, normally wind a pickup, you're going to wind from the front. You're going to wind whatever count you want to get to. You're going to slow down and get to whatever count you want, and you're going to cut it off. Now, you would never do this, but if you did, this is what's going to happen. If you're running at full throttle, and you reach around back to this polarity switch right here, and cut this thing off, and then you just reach around here and cut it back on, you're going to get this. You can get this pulsing. And the only thing I can figure that this is, is um, the speed controller in there is, uh, the, it knows the motor's trying to start at full capacity, so it's just pulsing. Um, and making it not start. I don't know if it's in the motor, but I'm pretty sure it's in the speed controller. But I've been kind of using that to keep having to put a reset on this thing and to make it to where it's a little bit harder to reset this um, instead of having just a switch on here. You know, because I can be winding, I can be winding this thing and get to a certain point and say I want to reset everything. Cut it off, flip the switch, run it up, and then I'm reset. And I, like I said, I probably will just put a reset here too because so it would be easier to do. But just so you know, it should never do that unless you go through that process that I just showed you. And it'll actually start. You know, if this is full throttle right here and I come back just a little bit, it'll start. As soon as I bring it all the way up, it does that. But then that, that's the only thing, only issue that I really had, and it's not like I said, it's not really an issue. It's not really something that's going to be, it's going to be hard for you to. Do. The only other things I got to do, like I said, is I've got to mount some kind of guides here to guide the wire on. I'm gonna mount it, make a top for it, and um, that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, like I said, and like always, just leave a comment, send me an email, um, whatever you want to do, just let me know about it, please. If you see anything I can do to make this thing better, let me know too. Um, I am probably going to try to maybe start working on some other stuff in the shop, but I want to get back to this in, in the future and do what I talked about before about the gas meter to where I can um, get the gas readings on pickups without having to, you know, basically just set it up there and get a reading off of it kind of thing. So I hope that will be in the near future. Like I said, any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the video, give me a like. If you like it, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.